Hi everybody, I'm Leila Lopez, Miss Universe 2011, and you're watching Face to Face Africa. It feels great, it feels great and I always say that I, I feel blessed, you know, since the moment I heard my name being called as Miss Universe 2011, I did this, like I put my hands in the, like, in the air, like thanking God because I was praying, I really wanted to win this competition and as you said, like after 12 years, another black girl won, another African uh, girl won this competition. So it's big for me, it's big for Africa, it's big for my country because I'm the first girl winning Miss Universe. So it's a bless. Thank God. <laughs> I love being in location with all the girls, like different girls from different religion, uh, countries, uh, cultures, so we could experience each other's uh, like cultures and likes and dislikes. I was there to, to compete, but I also made friends, which is really good because we were in groups of four girls. So I was with Miss Brazil, Portugal, Bolivia. We all spoke, uh, speak Portuguese, which is even better. We were in Brazil, so it was good for interviews. We, we used to go out to know the, the city, Sao Paulo. So it was great. The moment we stayed there for almost one month, and it's like you don't have anybody else but the girls. Like they compare, but at the same time, you're a human being. You want to to talk to people. You want to have friends, and this is the most memorable moment about the competition. Like getting to know new people, their culture, their experience, and their language also, which is funny because you try to to pick some words it's hard let me tell that it's hard but it's a good moment very very good moment as miss universe my main platform is the fight against hiv aids uh, this is something that i was doing when i was miss angola already and now it's even bigger now because i i'm traveling around the world talking about it I work with big organizations in New York, in Africa. Uh, they are in this uh, work, in this job, uh, in the fight against HIV AIDS for a long time. So I've been learning a lot with them. Now I'm able to talk uh, better like about this disease. I, told, I go to organizations like Irish House. I, I did a um, public HIV test, was hard, <laughs> yes, it's not easy, it's not easy to do a public HIV test, but I did it, uh, I told to the women who are part of the organization, they also encouraged me to do it, so I took this test to show, like, especially women, it's easy and it's always better to, to know, like, our status, like, so in case we find something, we are more prepared to get like a solution or a cure or a treatment. Of course, uh, I really love my job because I have the opportunity to, like I have a voice. I always say that I have a powerful voice. People listen to me. So I'll take advantage of this life that I'm living now and I'll, take it for the rest of my life. I think about building schools in Angola, like organizations. I've been already talked to some people who run organizations. I want to know how I can do it, how I can start doing this kind of things in Angola, in Africa, or other countries, because I really want to help people, you know? And it's great, like, I don't, of course I don't want to, I'm not going to do it alone. I ask help, other people help, which is great. I see myself doing a lot of great stuff. This is what I believe. <laughs> uh, 
Well, actually, I, I can see that I'm changing a little bit this image of uh, that people have from Africa, especially Angola, because they didn't know much about Angola. And the, the worst thing is that the only thing they could tell me about Angola is that it's a destroyed country, a country that everybody fights, uh, it's not a secure place to live and now I'm able to tell them that we are in peace for almost 10 years. Africa is a great continent. Uh, we have uh, schools. We are growing. Yes, we are growing. We are developing. Of course, we still need help. We still need pe pe uh, skilled people. I believe that education, like skilled people, is all for development. So I'm doing my part and I'm telling people that this is what we need to tell the world, that we are growing, we need help of course, but we are growing and we are not a destroyed continent. We have hope, we, we have lives there, strong people, strong uh, people believe that we can do so much better. As I said, education is all. Face, I believe face-to-face -face is educating people. It's teaching people things, about, great things about Africa. You guys, as you said, you talk about purity, about politics, about economy. So it's great. You guys are doing a great job. You're keeping people informed about what, what's going in Africa, how Africa is growing, is developing. So it's great that you, like, a magazine, it's promoting Africa, it's another magazine, it's another source where people will find things to know about Africa, so great job, face to face, congrats. <laughs>